not good. I better get ready. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Desierto, which does mean desert in English. So Desierto is written and directed by Jonas Cordon, Alfonso Cordon's father. So Desierto is about a group of these Mexicans that are going to their homes. They're crossing the U.S.-Mexican border until this man played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who is out on border patrol duties, decides to just kill these Mexicans and Jeffrey Dean Morgan will not stop until he kills every single one of these people. Now Desierto is a film I was actually very very interested in ever since they showed the trailer earlier this year like around I say February I was all like I was already up for seeing this film but then it kind of disappeared for a while and then they showed the trailer for this film again I think around like July or August I was also very interested in it because Jonas Coran who does write and direct this film he helped his father Al Alfonso Coran write Gravity and Alfonso Coran is actually the producer for Desierto and I have to say Desierto is a very riveting thriller. This film is very intense. It had me at the edge of my seat. This is a very well-executed, well-written, and well-directed film. Jonas Coran honestly did such a good job of writing and directing this film. As far as the writing goes, although this is not a film that really has that much character development, he still somehow does a good job of making you feel sympathy for these people that are trying to cross the border and then how he writes Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character I thought he did a very good job of showing how cold how racist Jeffrey Dean Morgan is as far as his direction goes he really does a great job of making you feel like you are actually in this hot desert because my goodness you know I've been to a desert and it really is hot you know when you go in the daytime obviously so the way he just takes you in this very hot and rather dirty atmosphere it was actually really great and I thought it was thanks to him that I actually did feel like I was in the desert with these people now something I have to say right now is the cinematography as I said you felt like you're in the desert and that's definitely thanks to cinematography. Nothing about the cinematography is really glossy. Like, it's not glossy. It's not made to look like anything like rainbows and cupcakes and sunshine. Like, it's none of that. The cinematography makes the film look like you're in the hot desert. I mean, when your film takes place entirely at a desert, you know, you want it to feel kind of dirty. Jeffrey Dean Morgan does a fantastic job in this film. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is one of the most underrated actors working today and he just shows why he is such a great actor. He portrays this racist, this cold, drunken, angry man so freaking well. You actually get quite scared because of Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He is a character that you hate, but man, does he do such a great job of making you really hate this character. That's because of how much you hate this character that you want those people out there to survive. You don't want them to get killed by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And that credit can also go to the dog. The dog's name is Tracker. I normally don't comment performances with animals, but I have to do it here. This dog did such a great job of acting in this film. This is one of the most impressive performances I've seen from a dog. This dog, just like with Jeffrey Dean Morgan, he makes you absolutely hate him. Because whenever Jeffrey Dean Morgan can't climb up a certain hill, because you know characters are climbing up higher and higher, you can't escape this dog at all. This dog never ever takes a break from searching for these people. And that's something else. This film is violent. 
They don't hold back on the violence. This is definitely rated R for a reason because it is a very brutal film. But I also have to say that Gael Garcia Bernal also did a really good job. You find out why he's crossing the border and once you learn it, you actually do sympathize with this character. Although you just learned that one thing, it was enough for you to care about him. And I actually thought the rest of the performances, they were actually really good too. I thought every Everyone honestly did a very good job performance wise. And I should make that clear, this film is not your deep character development kind of story. This is a very simple story where it's just Jeffrey Dean Morgan, the racist, shooting every single one of these people, well attempting to shoot every single one of these uh, people out there. And you know, that's just all there is. That's just all there is to the story. And that could be a flaw. But because of how riveted I was to the story of Desierto, because of how intense the film was, because of how well executed, well directed it was, it wasn't really a problem to me that this was just your simple survival story. The music for the film is absolutely great too. I thought the music really did blend for the more intense scenes that you do get in the film, or even the more subtle scenes, uh, which you don't get a whole lot of, but when you do get to the more subtle scenes in the film, it really does blend with those as well. And I also have to say, you know, I brought the cinematography, but I have to say, the opening shot of Desierto, seriously, the minute this movie just opened, with this long shot of this entire desert, with the title Desierto just slowly fading on screen, it was incredible. And I have to say, the climax of Desierto was really freaking great. I loved how quiet that climax was. Like, they really did take their time of building that tension and the climax. And the more tension that the film was building that climax, the more I was sweating. I seriously was shaking from the palm of my hands because that's just how intense this film really did get, in my opinion. Now, honestly, as far as problems do go, the only problems I do have with Desierto is that, like I said, there's not that much character development in this film. You really don't get that much. Much, unfortunately and I would have liked that there would have been more character development because yes I get it, the movie is basically non-stop like it really is non-stop once Jeffrey Dean Morgan spots these people and it rarely 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 takes a break but there's this one scene that really does take a break for a good couple of minutes and we actually get to learn some backstories from a couple of characters of why they're trying to cross the border and I found that to be riveting. I just wish that we got more of that kind of character development to be honest with the film. I think it would have added more to the story if we got to learn more about most of these characters in the film and Jeffrey Dean Morgan I would have liked it if the film gave him a backstory and there actually was a point where I thought Jeffrey Dean Morgan was actually gonna have this backstory, but you know, once I think they were gonna go to that point, they just cut to the next scene with Jeffrey Dean Morgan trying to look for these people. There is also some very distracting shaky cam in this shirt though, specifically once Jeffrey Dean Morgan actually does spot these people, the scene that pretty much sets up the rest of the intensity of the movie, that scene actually did get quite shaky and I could still see a little bit of what was going on but you know it was kind of hard to see a few of the more graphic moments when the camera is just shaking like this and I get it people are running and all that but I wish the camera just stayed more still and here's a weird thing I noticed about this film when you see characters running through the desert one shot it'll be still but then the next shot it'll be shaky but then the next shot will be still and then the next shot will be all shaky again like how's all like okay what the heck I just found that to be very weird honestly and although I was at the edge of my seat whenever you see these characters trying to survive you can predict honestly when certain characters are gonna die like once there's a character at that moment I was honestly able to predict yeah that character's gonna die from there and then the last problem I did have with this year though is that in the climax it was really subtle like I said it was more calm but then there's this one 
scene with Jeffrey Dean Morgan that I actually found to be quite silly and quite over the top. It just made me go, after everything that happened in this film, just really. But overall, you guys, I was very, very fascinated by Desierto. I thought this was a very impressive thriller. The film is just very intense and it is very beautifully shot. It's well written, it's well directed. Desierto is a solid thriller in my opinion and I'm gonna give it three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Desierto. And I would like to thank Mr. J for helping me film that quick little intro at the desert. You're welcome. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!